Hey there friends, today we're doing lesson 98 in the UFLI Foundation series, and today we'll be learning about some less common consonant digraphs, K N N, W R R, and M B N. Let's start with the sound N. We know that the sound N can be made by the letter N, as in nose, nose, N, nose, N, N. When we make the n sound, the tip of our tongue touches the roof of our mouth just behind our teeth, and our lips are open. N. But we can also make the n sound using the consonant digraph kn. We typically see this at the beginning of words, such as the word knee. N e knee. Kn is making the same n sound as the letter n, so some might say that the k is silent. But either way, the K and the N working together are saying N, as in the word knee. As I had said, the KN comes at the beginning of a word, like in the word knob. We don't hear the K, so you might think of it as being silent. But we can write it like this, N, A, B, knob. Three sounds, but four letters. The KN digraph is at the beginning. We also see this occurring in the word knit. N, I, T, knit. The K in the word knit is silent. We don't hear it, but it is still there helping the N to say its name. N. Four letters, but only three sounds. We've also learned the sound er. We know that the sound er can be made by the letter R, such as in the word red. R, red, er. When we make the er sound, our lips purse together slightly and our tongue lifts just a bit, er, and our mouth is open. Today we'll be looking at another way to make the er sound, the wr digraph, such as in the word right. Similar to in the kn digraph, the w could be considered silent in this, for, in this digraph because it is still making the er sound. So in the word right, we only hear four, three sounds, er, i, t, right, but that W is still there at the beginning to help the R say its sound. WR is another digraph that we will see at the beginning of a word, such as in the word rap, er, ap, rap. In the word rap, we hear three sounds, but we see four letters. That's because the W could be considered silent or could be considered to be working with the R to help it make it say, make it say the sound, er, ap, rap. We also see this in the word wrist. In the word wrist, there are four sounds. Er, I, s, t, wrist. The W is considered silent, but it is still there to help the R say its sound. Er, I, s, t, wrist. The final sound we'll be working with today is the sound m, mm, as in mouse. We've already learned that the letter M can say m, mm, m, mouse, m. Mm. But today we're looking at another way, m, b. As in the word comb, this one tends to come at the end of words, and just as the other ones we've practiced, the B could be considered silent here. Because all we're hearing is the M sound made by the M. As I had said, the MB digraph comes at the end of words, not at the beginning. We see this in the word climb. K, U, I, M, climb. We hear four sounds, but we see five letters. That's because the B could be considered silent or is helping the M to say its name. We also see this in the word numb. N, uh, m, numb. Three sounds, but four letters. That's because the B at the end is silent or it's helping the M along. So we're working on the N, er, and M sounds today. We know that N can be made by the letter N or KN. That the sound er can be made by R or WR and the sound m mm can be made by the letter m or m b. Let's take a look at some example words. This is the word not. In the word not, we see a letter k, but we don't hear it. That's because k is considered silent. The k n digraph is saying n, n, a, t, not. We see a similar example in this word, rap. The WR is working together, but the W is really considered to be silent because all we hear is the er sound, er, ap, rap. We see it again in this word, thumb. 
we have a consonant digraph th at the beginning. And at the end, we see the mb digraph, though the b is really considered silent since all we hear is the m. A, m, thumb. Now let's try some words together. I'll put it up on the screen and you try to read it before I do. N, o, no. Er, I, t, right. Er, a, n, t, wrench. N, I, f, knife. Er, e, f, reef. O, e, m, limb. K, er, a, m, crumb. N, a, k, knock. Er, a, k, wreck. N, a, o, t, knelt. Now let's do some writing. I want to start with the word lamb. To spell the word lamb, I'm going to start with my sounds. O, a, m, lamb. I only hear the m at the end, but I know that there's a silent b, lamb. What if I wanted to change the word lamb into the word limb? Which letter would I change? Well done, I would change the A. In the word lamb, we have an A, but the word limb has the I sound, made by the I. We still have the silent B at the end, made by the MB digraph, lamb to limb. Let's try two more words. How would I write the word knelt? I hear four sounds, n, e, o, t, knelt. I don't hear a K at the beginning, but I know that it's there. N, e, o, t, knelt. Well done, let's try one more. I want to write the word rap. I only hear er, a, p, rap, but I know that there's really a silent W. Er, a, Well done today. We learned about three new consonant digraphs, all with silent letters. K-N with silent K. K-N says, hmm, well done. We learned about W-R with silent W. W-R says, er, very good. And we learned about M-B with silent B. M-B says, Mm, very good. Well done today.